large pound and you got cotton mouth, you are petrified. But fortunately for you, you're well trained. You're confident in your skills, you're mission ready. Well, I may have flown 65 combat missions by myself in the cockpit of that beautiful F-16, I assure you this, I was never flying solo. I always had my wingman, and today, I'd like to be your wingman. We're gonna fly a mission together. And that mission is how you can dodge the missiles of change and adversity that are being shot at you. We've gotta earn our wings every single day, and that's why you're here. Words cannot truly describe the passion that I had for flying F-16s, living my dreams. And words also can't describe some of the fears and doubts I faced every single time I strapped into that jet to fly. And you flew 65 combat missions in Iraq and Kosovo, and you say that those missions taught you everything you need to know about surviving, and now you apply it to business. Retired Air Force pilot and author of Never Fly Solo. Great to see you, Kurt. How are you? I'm doing awesome. Thanks for having me. What I want to do is just share some of the things I learned both as a business person and as a fighter pilot, how to deal with change and how to drive forward and innovate and grow as an amazing company. And I know some of you are probably looking at me and you're saying, Waldo, I appreciate the fighter pilot motif, the flight suit, not bad. You're not Tom Cruise, but you're okay. What the heck does flying fighters have to do with us? I mean, we're not getting shot at every day. Our lives aren't on the line. But here's what is on the line. It's the life and death of this brand, this business, your futures, your dreams. You see, we can be committed, passionate, love this industry that we're in. We could rehearse and chair fly every contingency, be the top gun in tactics. But when you have a wingman at your right three o'clock or left nine o'clock, it's easier for him or her to look over their shoulder to see what you can't see. This, my friends, is absolutely the key to building a collaborative culture that innovates, that adapts to change, and that grows. It's a check six culture of mutual support. And that's why we never fly solo. And as fighter pilots, before we strapped in to fly, we'd have a plan. We trust the technology, which was constantly changing. We trust our leaders. We were mission ready, confident, and confidence builds trust. And trust lands jets, deals with adversities, builds businesses. Make no doubt about it, folks. This isn't about motivating and cheerleading. It's about getting your people to perform. Because the decision you make to jump or abort is gonna determine the brand, the future of this business, of your life. It's about commitment to excellence, not being average. That's why you're here. Jump. It's literally the best keynote I've ever seen in my life. I mean, he was just so motivating. It was amazing. Listen to the energy following his talk. The amount of work and effort that he put into understanding our business, there's no question about it, he hit a home run. When that guy said break right, did his wingman call out on the radio and say, you sure he didn't mean break left? <laughs> or you break right, I'm your boss. Or let's have a conference call and discuss this. inspired everybody in that room. It was emotional and it was personal. It hit me. It really did. We understand and great organizations understand that it's one team with one mission. Whose flight line do you need to walk? Who are the unsung heroes? The folks behind the scenes? Appreciate them. Check their six. Let them know that you have their back. Connect with them from the heart. Then they'll go to full power for you. It's a way of being, it's not just a philosophy, and these are your wingmen here. And when you walk out of these doors, continue to earn your wings every day. Let your wingmen know with you on their wing, they need never fly solo. Wingmen! God bless you, folks. Thank you very much.